What do you do if the sun's a little glary? Probably put on your sunglasses, which cut down the amount of light getting through to your eyes because they have dark glass or dark plastic lenses. You can do something else. You can stand behind Venetian blinds and adjust the blades of the blinds so that you are controlling the amount of light coming through to you. Well, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of sunglasses which are more like the Venetian blinds than these sunglasses. And this is what you'll need. A cardboard box with corrugated cardboard sides. You'll need some glue, a pair of scissors, a marking pen and a safety knife. And here's what you do. You start by removing some of the lids from the cardboard box and then making slices about a centimetre wide from one of the pieces of corrugated cardboard. Try and find one if you can that has fairly clear distinct corrugations and quite large holes between those corrugations. Make sure that you keep your fingers well and truly out of the way and cut some strips about a centimetre wide. A whole lot of them like that. Believe it or not, you're going to attempt to look through those little holes. And what you'll do is to start piling them one on top of another, the strips, so that you build up a wall. Now, I've already done that. You can see that they all stay together because I've glued them. So what I need to do is to pile a few more on top of this. I'll use glue, any sort of glue that sticks cardboard or paper will do. So there's another strip on top of our wall. That makes seven and another one and I found with this particular cardboard I need about nine strips to make the wall high enough to turn it into sunglasses so there we are we now have a wall that's nine strips high now it doesn't look much like sunglasses yet does it although you can see how it's going to work that way so the next thing to do is to make it look a little more like sunglasses and to do that if you happen to have an old pair of glasses around, you can use those as a guide by marking out uh, approximately where the ends of the glasses go, where the nose hole should be, where the other end goes, like that. And then, using either your safety knife or scissors, cut across. Now, if you use scissors, you'll find that you need to neaten it up a bit after you've done that. Safety knife will probably give you a better job. Curve that side off, curve that side off, and then cut out the nose hole in the same way. Make it V-shaped, make it go up about halfway. There we are. And do it carefully. And if any of the bits fall apart, you may need to put a bit more glue back in afterwards. Right, I'm doing that roughly because normally you'd take about 10 minutes over this. And then you need something to bind the whole thing together. Now to do that, a strip of cardboard does the trick nicely. It goes across the top there, the ear piece goes down to the side and then the bottom piece wraps around under and goes up the nose hole. Starting to look like sunglasses? I guess it is a little, isn't it? You probably guessed that I've already finished a pair. It took me about ooh, 10 to 12 minutes to make this pair but you can see now that they're almost ready to wear. Now you might be saying, I don't quite see how that's going to cut down the amount of light getting through to my eyes. Well, let me put them on, not me, but you. You're standing over there, and if we put the sunglasses on you, first thing you see are all the little bits of cardboard, but if you look through those sunglasses and concentrate on what's the other side of them, me, you'll see me fairly clearly. What the sunglasses are doing is to cut down the amount of light getting through to your eyes in the same way that the Venetian blinds work, cutting down light getting through. And so you'll find that they do actually work out in the sun. So why not make some of these for yourself and uh, put them on next time you go to the beach. You may not be the trendiest person on the beach, but people will certainly notice you.